Hey, fifth graders. Happy Friday. Hopefully you are doing well today. Um, hi, Mrs. Miller. Thank you so much for coming in today. Um, I am very grateful you are in my classroom today. So um, let's get right to it. Today is Friday. Your goal today is to make progress on your energy transformation book, the one we started yesterday. Um, so if uh, no one has done it yet, um, when this video is over, maybe Ms. Miller can select a volunteer to pass out the energy transformation books that are in the Turnin Tower. Um, now, once you, uh, that's kind of our big goal for today, but I do have an article that I would like you to read with Ms. Miller first. Um, so your first task today, um, after you're done with this video, of course, is to uh, read through this article. This, again, will help us remind us about our different types of energy and how energy can transfer and transform into different kinds. Um, so there are a lot of examples within here that might be helpful as well. Um, maybe some kind of burning questions that will be helpful. Uh, a nice reminder about our energy conservation law. Um, a couple key terms here, and then just a speedy summary. So it is just a front and back article. Um, Ms. Miller will be going through that with you. Um, then you can have a nice discussion, um, answer any questions, get some ideas hopefully from this article to help you with your book. Um, then the rest of the time you're going to be working on your energy transformation booklet. Once you have your booklet, what I would like you to do is to look at your um, description here that you should have tucked in your booklet from yesterday. Um, and our to-do list for today is to do four more transformations. So by the end of today, you should have a total of six done. Okay, that's six pages. Okay, so it'll be 12 pictures total. Now with each transformation, remember you need three things. The uh, picture for it, how it starts and the picture for how it ends. That's where your two pictures come from. Label which form of, of energy is used in each picture and one sentence explanation on how the objects in the picture transform their energy from one to the other. You can always look back at our example here. Now remember, you can't use that specific one. Good try. Um, but today you're gonna do four more for a total of six. Now also on here, I do want you to check in with Mrs. Miller. Now, how Mrs. Miller wants to do that is up to her. Maybe she'll stay in one spot and kind of call kids over one at a time. Maybe she'll go around and check in with you. Um, but I wanna make sure that you are making good progress. Remember, we don't want to procrastinate and we don't want to save it all for the last day. So by the end of today, you should have a total of six done. Now, if you're waiting to color, you might want to go maybe one or two more. Um, now, I did tell Mrs. Miller about our plan to, if you would like to use the Chromebook for tracing purposes, you need to have all of your words done, all of your text on your pages first. Then it, once you show Ms. Miller, then she can allow you to get a Chromebook if that's okay with her, if we're still doing that plan. Um, that way you can trace. Now I did want to emphasize and remind you that this is in place of a test. So I really wanna see good quality work. This is gonna be a big part of your grade, so I wanna make sure you do a nice job on it. Um, Ms. Miller is in charge, so whatever she says goes, okay? Please make sure you are kind, make sure you're helpful, make sure you're respectful. Um, again, here are some different forms of energy I wanna see. Don't do the same thing all the uh, over and over and over again. <laughs> you won't get a good grade that you want on there. Um, here's your directions for going for a four and how I'm gonna grade you here. So again, uh, here is your goal for today. Have a great day. I miss ya. I will see you on Monday when I am back. Thanks again, Ms. Miller, for doing a nice job. Bye.